What's up? Your boy Reggie D checking in at FDMG Studios live in Florida, baby. We about to cook up some stuff. Let's get it going. The Broadway Band just got a shipment of the dopest dope I've ever smoked. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. I'm a native Texan, but I'm a Texas Floridian now. Cause you know, I've been in Florida since Wilma, Hurricane Wilma. I got started with DJing. Um, it started off with, I guess, the summer periods that I used to go to Chicago. I used to listen to the Hot Mix 5 in the basement. And I used to listen to the Hot Mix 5 in the basement uh, stand with my cousin. Uh, my little kin folk, we used to go in summer periods. And uh, on the way there, I used to carry this jam box. And as the cities that we went through, I used to like to bust in the train and put my headphones on. And as we go through the different uh, cities, I would scroll through the radio and listen to different music. And uh, when I got to Chicago the first time, I sat in the basement and I started listening to this house techno blending. And it's like, this sure is a long song. And then as I got familiar with all the music, I'm like, man, these are songs, but the blends are so tight. And I said, I want to learn how to do that. And so I applied all of that, those summer periods, going back and forth, getting very familiar with the music, and uh, just started off with collecting cassettes of all the songs and stuff like that. Then I got a little component set, as we called it, a turntable and a cassette player on the bottom. And, you know, you put halfway in between cassette and halfway in between mon phono, and then you have both of them playing at the same time. So I learned how to use um, um, a piece of manila paper or notebook paper to control the pitch of the turntable going around and around, you know. You know, you know and I used to go down the tube and just like, I'm not going to move the tube until I find a record that mixed with that song, whether it was country, jazz, or whatever. So that's how I challenged myself. And what that did was that showed me that you can mix anything with anything. So that's why you never hear me uh, get stuck on 15 minutes of one type of songs or 15 minutes of one type of formatted music. I mix it all. I'll go from Sade to NWA. <laughs> you hear Ice Cube on a, on a Sade track. You know, that's just me. That's my style of mixing. And that started in Texas. And then it grew into, um, that was Funky Keith Farley that I met in Chicago. Well, I never met him, but one of my favorite DJs that I'm a true fan of because he's the one that started me listening to the Hot Mix 5 in Chicago, which was WMBX or something like that. Oak Park, Chicago, that's the way it used to be. I don't know, but you know, they know what I'm talking about, the Hot Mix 5. DJ Earthquake, uh, Quint Black, and I, we were like one of the, some of the most recognized DJs in uh, South Dallas. We're from South Dallas. Was a bunch of DJs. I can't name them all. Uh, but I did associate myself with some of the top radio jocks, which was Yushe and Dr. Rock. And Dr. Rock had a, a group called the Feel the Fresh Crew, Fresh K and Trey, which is DOC. Um, they fell out and DOC took off and went to LA. <laughs> NWA, Dr. Dre, the diggity diggity doc. Come on, man. The best two, whoever had it. What was his name? I don't even know the name of that. But to this day, he's from West Dino. Still still a, a, a strong, humble brother. Uh, you can shoot, send him a text, he'll reply right back and still, still cool with a brother. Uh, of course, uh, Earthquake, DJ Earthquake is a current DJ right now for for uh, Vanilla Ice and Vanilla Ice we he went to Carrollton and R.L. Thorne no R.L. No, Turner High School Vanilla Ice was from Texas yes yes, okay. yes, okay. yes 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 he started off with a white I-Rock every video he had was an I-Rock and then he went to the to the Mustang you know back in the days I can say all this because it's true that's my dog and he's in Wellington right now and uh you know, I think he, a lot of people thought he was from Miami, but yeah, but you know uh, uh, that 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 era that he ran through uh, when he became a, a mega star that he is still to this day. Uh, you know, that's just a part of the marketing scheme. You know, yeah, he's forgiven for that. That's my dog. 
I, I didn't have a problem with it. Anyway, you know, that's still my dog. And then, you know, of course, DOC, Vanilla Ice, and Erica Badu to this day. You know, she can tell you that I taught her how to DJ and how to mix before she went off to uh, college. When I knew her as a legit growing up, she was called uh, DJ Apples. But when she went off to college, y'all know her now as, as, as Erica Badu. You know, it's still a cool sister. That's South Dollars. It's all in our system, man. We, we, we cool like that. Um, there was a lot I wanted to do in my hometown, but it was a lot, was so much competition and a lot of hatred toward me uh, because of me being unique and different. Um, and uh, uh, Steve Harvey was my mentor. Steve Harvey became syndicated, and Steve Harvey basically just said, uh, you might have to go to another market or another city, man, to become who you want to be. Um, and so he gave me my advice to take a leap, take a leap of faith. And uh, I remember that day, man, he was with his bodyguard, Boomerang, and he and Boomerang just said, yeah, man, you, you got to, in order to get some things you never had, you got to do some things you never done. I'll never forget that. And I was like, okay, I think I'm going to take that job offer in, in Florida. He was like, yeah, ain't no, ain't no brother like you in Florida. Give yourself three years and see how see how it comes. But give yourself an opportunity. And I was like, I don't know nobody out there. And he said, it don't matter. Take the leap. So uh, I contacted Mark. Mark was in Florida. And I was like, is that job offering still there? And he was like, heck yeah. So I moved. Uh, I, I bought my apartment online. Never been here. Got a U-Haul and drove here. LL Cool J. Uh, you said three. I gotta pick three. I'm just gonna say what comes to mind when I dug in the crates that I pulled out the most. It had to be uh, LL standing on top of the Jaguar, uh, mm -hmm. Raising Hell, Run DMC, and it had to be the Herbie Hancock 12 inch uh, of the Mega Mix that. One of them, the uh, rocket was the red with the black writing, 12 inch, and the mega mix. Uh, it was the safety green type color, the fluorescent green color. And when I heard that mega mix, I said, I want to be a mega mix type DJ. Well, what drives me now is the community. Um, DJing is. It's it's in my blood. It's I'm I'm blessed to be on a radio station and I'm, I'm I'm being paid for it. But at the same time, I'm super blessed to be a, a, a community advocate, uh, which has inspired me to do multiple walks, uh, one across the country, and and in the name of unity, which is I walk from uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, all the way to Seattle, Washington, and dude, I met some fantastic people from white people, black people. Pacificans, um, um, I met them all, even Indians. I've I, I gotten blessed with Indians taking the stone off of their neck and putting it around my neck. Man, that was an amazing journey, and um, I'm trying to put all that together so I can showcase that and share that maybe on maybe like a Netflix or something like that. I'm just praying that I can show it on a high platform because I think there's so much in there that I can share. It's something new and something different. That's probably why it's taking so long. Uh, but I do need to edit it and put it out, and that's what I'm working on right now. Yeah, actually producing my own soundtracks, but I'm trying to use all local, local talent as well to express their inner thoughts. Not trying to put what's on the market, and I got nothing against what everybody's playing right now. But at the same time, everybody got something that they want to say. That when it it, it comes to unity and a uh, 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 racism and and stuff like that, police brutality, they want to say something. Um, and I want to use my music to be that platform and put it all with my documentary because I'm building a fan base or relationships with people and talent who have followed the walks and want to be a part of it. 
So I'm, 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 I'm wishing that I can get a group of people and we can create something like what we created here. Because that's how it started with Erica Badu coming to the crib, finding your culture, uh, and job born. Uh, next thing you know, job born makes her track on and on, and they take off. You know, I'm trying to create that here in Florida. And, uh, and the, what, what opened that app, what opened that up was when I did the walk from Dallas to here against racism. Of course, the National Association of Broadcasters Award. Uh, I was nominated twice for the African American Achievers Award. That's a blessing. Uh, Ray Whiteley presented me with the first ever Martin Luther King Jr. Spirit Award. Uh, Mayor Moyo met me at the finish line and gave me the key to the city. Um, the Martin Luther King Committee put me, put my name on a brick with the Urban League uh, underneath the Martin Luther King Memorial um, at the Martin Luther King Memorial down by Flagler. So, yeah, I, I, it would be a, an, an honor to do those things back in Dallas, too. But if I'm here and I'm bringing the attention here and bringing unity uh, amongst uh, our teachers and our police officers, and through the radio station, then that's what I'm here for. I'm kind of converting DJ Reggie D to Reggie D Foundation, uh, 501c3. So now um, the gift cards and stuff like that I give to the winners, I'm able to give those to kids. I'm able to take kids on field trips now because I get grants and funding from the city of Rivera Beach, uh, the uh, Healthier Neighbors, the United Way, uh, Children's Services Council, the Urban League. All these people are helping me get funds and I'm creating <clears throat> all these people. All these foundations are helping me get funds and I'm also creating my 501c3 uh, to create programs that brings uh, uh, our, our youth uh, together with police and teachers and and, and, and and through athletics with the police athletic league um, doing a lot of stuff with some of the NFL players here former NBA I mean, in, in NFL and NBA players and uh, um, a, a lot of local celebrities as well I'm, I'm trying to line some stuff up and bring more to the city um, and, and it all started with with Mr. Willie Gary too as well because we used to give away those big giant gas giveaways with hundreds of cars showing up and he would fit the whole bill and I want to continue to give back to the community and let people like that give back to the community and be acknowledged for it as well. Everybody loved me for Florida because I used to stick something in their gas hole. <laughs> case man because me and my brother man we used to take the uh first we used to take the battery out the smoke alarm and then we would go downstairs and uh you know we don't care about the two three four five pancakes we would just fill up the whole pan with a mega pancake and flip it over one good time and that'd be that big joker you know so yeah pancakes You can follow me on um, Facebook, which is Reggie D E E. Uh, that's my uh, my page, one word. And Reginald D for my personal page was so probably maxed out. And uh, IG is Reggie D E E Z, like Reggie D's. D's. Ha! Got him. And um, any shout outs just to wrap it up? Breezy. Uh, Menace. I used to listen to y'all on the weekends, man. And I wish we could do that stuff some more. Uh, the whole city of, of Palm Beach County, the police officers of Rivera Beach, uh, the city councilman, uh, Lawson, Felder, and uh, of course my radio station, Hub Radio X1023, uh, the whole staff, and the community, man. FDMG Studio. <laughs>